I'm not sure why I thought this would work. We're not superheroes. No, no, we're not, Aaron. What's on the show today, Erica? Today on the show, we headed to the Melbourne premiere of Avengers Endgame to get amongst the hype. Then we popped by a comic store to check out where our favourite heroes all began. And finally, we get schooled in some live drawing in the studio. It's going to be super. Incredibly sad, Erica, but today we are flying into the world of superheroes, villains, and damsels, damsels, damsels in distress like me. That's right, Aaron. Comic fans have been around since the 1930s, where the art form really took off. With its unique storytelling, comics are a brilliant platform to connect with. It all began in the US, and for decades we have a range of heroes in our books. From Superman to Spider-Man to Iron Man to Ant-Man, to, uh, to Aquaman, to Wonder Woman. And you know where you can find a bunch of your favourite superheroes? In The End Game. Hi, I'm Erica Lewis and I'm at the Melbourne Museum IMAX Cinemas where Infinity War has just ended and fans are lining up to see the Avengers End Game. So we're going to catch up with a few of them before the movie starts. Um, so tell me a bit about uh, your passion for Avengers. Well, I mean, I've seen everyone in cinemas along with uh, my buddy Ryan. He's dragged me along to every single one. <laughs> sure he has. <laughs> the biggest movie, uh, it's a decade of culture, um, all wrapped up in the most expensive movie ever made. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for seeing this new one. I'm here with... Marshall. Marshall. Are you, how excited are you for Endgame? I'm so excited. Can you tell me a little bit about how long you have been a fan of the Avengers for? Like I've been seeing them all since they came out, so it's been good, but I really got into it recently. What movie actually hit it off for you? Like I really liked the first Iron Man and then they kind of dipped for me, but once I saw Avengers I was really keen, so I've kind of just been writing it since then. I'm here with Lucky. Lucky, who is your favourite Avenger? i got to go with Spidey. Spidey, how come? Spidey relates with me personally because like he never gives up no matter how hard he tries and everything, like, no matter what he pushes through it and I can, I really admire that about him. If you guys were an Avenger character, what Avenger character would you be? I'd have to go Cap, just because Cap's a real, just a badass. Thor. I like lightning and I like his hammer. Doctor Strange. I like having magical abilities. I'm here with Spike and Jess. Now, how excited are you for the Avengers Endgame movie? Been waiting for it since, like, Infinity War came out. So, like, after that finished, yeah, like, all year. Very excited. Yeah, it's been a very difficult wait. What was the first Avengers movie you ever saw? Probably Iron Man. Well, I was perfect age where I was, like, 10 years old. Oh, my first one was probably The Avengers. I don't know, it's always been such a large part of, like, the culture since the first Iron Man came out. Well, the movie's about to begin, so I better run and I'll see you guys in the studio. Hey, Erica. Yes, Aaron. I love you 3,000. Stop, stop. It's still too fresh. I'd say go check out Avengers Endgame for yourself, but you've probably already seen it. But if seeing the movie didn't satisfy your superhero cravings enough, you might be interested in seeing where Thanos and the gang began back in the comic book. You're asking me if I know about Thanos Copter? Honestly, Aaron, who do you take me for? Obviously, I know the Thanos Copter. To learn about Thanos copters and spider bikes and more, we headed into the comic book store to learn a little bit about comic book lore. I'm here with Brandon, who uh, runs Brandon's Comics here at the convention. So Brandon, how long have you been doing this for? This uh, running of the, of the store? I've been running Brandon's Comics for about three years now. Okay. And, and what began um, your love for comic books way back when? Uh, well, it started when I was eight years old. Aaron. Really? Yeah. I've at first it was just me discovering these weird little picture book magazines at a friend's house mm. called comic books and it led me on a search to find them for myself. Uh, wow. And, wow. and I see you've collected an enormous amount of those comic books. How many do you reckon you have here? I reckon we've got about 20,000 comic books Whoa. here today. Did, like yeah. crammed in like sardines. Yeah, <laughs> they're absolutely packed. So I assume you have more at home. How many, how many, com com ah, how many comic books do you reckon you've collected over the three years you've been running the, the store for? Uh, probably another 10, 20,000. That's amazing. So 30, 40,000 all up. That's incredible. Know. 
So originally, did you start off as a comic book writer or was there something else? Did you, did you get into it through like a side alley? Uh, had no, a start? I, I came through it through about three different side alleys actually. So <laughs> right. I, was, I was a theatre kid and I did musicals. Uh, I wrote for musicals, I wrote theatre, particularly short plays. Fantastic. Um, I was also a professional juggler. Professional I, I used to eat fire and juggle knives for a living. You're joking. So, the guys so like the circus South stuff as well, really? Burke Street Mall and stuff. All right here in Melbourne, All yeah. right here in Melbourne, and I toured across Australia doing that. Um, and yeah, I used to juggle knives and fire with my now wife. I used to risk my love life for other people's entertainment. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> and yeah, but it was actually... Artist. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> uh, but it was actually a play I wrote uh, set on Point of Street Station in Melbourne called oh. The Example about a briefcase that got adapted into a comic and that comic got me a gig writing Star Wars. Fantastic. And yep. from Star Wars, you've moved on to DC, you're doing Marvel, yep. and you're writing all this sort of stuff for the last decade, I think you said. Yep. And, uh, and now you're doing Spider-Man, Spider uh, which I'm a huge fan of, Spidey. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a few of these are out at the moment. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. So there's, so there's uh, so issue, we've got four issues out, issue five's out this week. Um, and yeah, it's just a very lovely story. It's, it's Peter and his yeah. neighbors and, and Aunt May and very grounded stories. Okay. The this... guy over there, he, he does the, more, the, the big stories. The big yeah. stories. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Spencer, <laughs> who's very focused. <laughs> um, oh, fantastic. Is, uh, who, who's, who do you reckon has been your favorite, who do you reckon has been your favorite character to write? So My favorite character to write? Yes. That's a good question. Um, I, I have a real soft spot for Harley Quinn. Really? I love writing Harley and Green Arrow and Black Canary, and I've done the three of them together a lot. So mainly DC, because it's a bit grittier. Or? Oh no, it's not. It's I mean, it's it's different because I've also I tend to love whoever I'm writing right now. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Tom. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. But I'm the real host of this show. Yeah, I'm not. I'm the real host of this show. Erica Gertrude Lewis. I swear to God, I'm the real host of this oh show. Oh my God, you can't even get my real name right. Oh. Uh, oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, uh, we're just doing that bit from Spider-Man. Yeah, the writers have gotten real lazy, thank but you, Daniel. But do you know yeah. who isn't lazy? Who? Our next guest, Tex <laughs> Langford. Welcome, Hi. Welcome to the studio. Wow, oh, fantastic to have you on the show. It is, it's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all? I'm 17 and I've been drawing art for as long as I can remember. I just try 17. to... 17? Yeah, I just try to... Uh, work on different superheroes and different comic books and just try and emulate that and even try and create my own stuff there. Oh, so. so how long have you been doing that for? Uh, well... Since you can remember, Aaron, are you paying well, attention? Are you I don't paying know. attention? I reckon about like 15 years or so. I've okay. been doing it for a really long yeah. time. Whoa. Yeah, so. Wow. What got you into comics? Um, I think it was mainly like the different movies that came out, like this obviously like the first Spider-Man movie that mm -hmm. was released in 2002, the Sam Raimi ones, oh. those were really yes. good and that it definitely I opened my eye to different comics and mm. uh, that whole universe there. And so, you, like you were inspired, but by the age of three, I'm presuming you couldn't draw fantastic comments. No, 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 comics. no, no. no, no. Um, can you tell us when you actually started to actively draw them, like um, and create your own? Because you do create your own. I don't, don't think you? I could draw at the age of three, Ooh. but I'm genuinely impressed. Also, you did a bit of maths there. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. Um, <laughs> did I? Oh, I did too. <laughs> um, so, is it, is it mainly superheroes that you were drawing from it's then on? It's mainly or? superheroes <laughs> and different parts of pop culture, like um, seeing the first Alien movie. I wanted to draw Xenomorphs yeah. and stuff. Oh, that they're was pretty very complicated cool. to draw as well. Yeah. Yeah, so just... I've been doing that and I actively pursued my art about four years ago or so, just to actually try and produce mm. really good work. Is there a certain style that you go with? Like... I try to go with mainly comic booky stuff. I, okay. I don't, tr I'm not really because there's like manga and there's like yeah, I know I that one. I'm, too, oh, I'm not good enough for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't no. go well. Well. Yeah. <laughs> didn't go I well. can barely draw stick figures, so I think <laughs> you both beat me there. Yeah. Um, anime is uh, not mm. really my style. I do watch it. Okay. Uh, but it's not something I try to actively try to yeah. get there. Yeah. Well, you're in year 12, so mm. you're in your final year. What are you hoping to do in uni now that you have you found like a lot of not a people not a lot of people um, not a lot of people find uh, their passion early on in mm. life. What do you hope to do at uni? Well, I've kind of got a big passion for digital design and mm. visual mm -hmm. communication. Nice. Uh, so instead of kind of going with the whole comic book uh, like freehand style, I kind of do want to get into like posters and different. Um, 
forms of communication, such as like billboards and uh, designing all those for different things. Oh, it's nice. pretty cool, yeah. All yeah. unis could start up a, a, a comic book course. Yes. Uh, looking at That'd you, Deacon. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, Is it mainly uh, digital um, kind of drawing that you do, or is it on paper? Um, I kind of do a mixture of both. I like to start out with paper, mm -hmm. do sketches mm -hmm. and stuff, and then I can scan it onto the computer if I wish. Oh. And yeah, so you and don't need like... Yeah. And then yeah. on computer, it's so much easier to just touch it up mm. or add different details or different colours and shades and stuff. Yeah. It's really nice. What's your favourite thing to draw? Oh, definitely the superhero stuff. So, but like, any particular superhero in... Oh, Spider-Man, probably. Okay. Spider-Man's great because he's got so many different, like, yes. poses and mm. different... That's he's, very true. He's very flexible, so he's you can... He's probably the most suits out of, like, any of them as well. Yeah, so he's, it's dynamics. very iconic and you can yeah. do different dynamic... Like, mm. it's very dynamic. Mm. Yeah. And I yeah. like to work with that and yeah. try new stuff. And I also like doing Batman and just doing little brute okay. stuff, mm. which is really nice. Are you a part of any different um, kind of communities in Melbourne? I'm part of a uh, cosplay community. Oh, I like to dress up and... Uh, try to bring these characters to life. I've mm. worked on stuff from uh, video games like Legend of Zelda, and oh, I'm wow. working on now actually Robin, which is pretty ironic uh, okay. for superhero stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, so. so you've, 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 uh, you've drifted away from Marvel just, just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, just a little bit. Now, Tex, uh, we want to see if you're all you say you are. So okay. we're going to put 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Uh, we've got that off screen. And uh, we're going to see who can draw the best comic book strip in 60 seconds. Strip. Strip. Like we want, a even if it's like three, three panels, character strip, whatever, whatever's the best. Okay, um, cool. And we'll get someone to judge it uh, at the end. Okay, we've got 60 okay. seconds on the clock. You guys we ready? Do. Yep. All right. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, a go. All right. Uh, cool. I'm going to go full strip because that was uh, my original plan. I'm going to divide it into three different sections. <sighs> Um, cool. I'm going to start off with, with a snake. Uh, and I'm going to... Hang on! No! <laughs> no! What? What's wrong? How'd you do that, How'd you do that in, in, in 25 seconds? What? This? You, no, okay. No, we're putting that this? away. No! We're putting that Wait, okay. You're not allowed to cheat. You're not allowed to cheat. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, no, you've distracted me now. T Tex has gotten the upper hand. How are you doing, Tex? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a, it's a bit of encouragement for me. Uh, it's a snake, uh, and I'm going to draw some cheese here. Uh, it's Swiss cheese, so it's got a couple of holes in it, and it's him eating cheese, because uh, he's a vegan snake. All right, guys, we've got ten seconds left on the ten clock. Seconds. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a minute. <laughs> Erica, let me you. finish. Intolerant. Just do a smiley face. Yeah, you can do a smiley face. Snack. I haven't got room to write snake. There we go. I'll write snake. Larry the lactose intolerant snake. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, all right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, that's down. amazing. Nah. <laughs> No, nah, didn't have enough time. So do you guys like mine? No. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is called Larry. This is the Larry the lactose intolerant snake. snake. Let me let me let me show and, it to our little um, close-up camera here. <laughs> All right, so this is Larry the lactose intolerant snake. Um, as you can see, he's got cheese. Mm -hmm. He eats the cheese. He goes, mmm, yummy, yummy. Uh, but then he's, he's a little bit yeah. gassy. And I love how Aaron always intolerant. steals my ideas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How'd yours end up, Erica? Or oh, did that end up on the floor? Oh, mine was incredible. Let me show you. So, Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> In all, in all seriousness, oh, um, yes. Tex, who I, totally wasn't still drawing no, no, when no, I came no, 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 please, no. Uh, please do the reveal. No, yes. I kind of, um, uh, that was, two minutes was very short. It was, <laughs> yes. yes. I just tried to go with something dramatic. I just went with Spider-Man. Oh, that's know. actually, oh no, need to save MJ. Oh, that's actually great. I just tried Look to. Look at his big muscles as I know, well. I know, I know. All Two right. minutes was very well, stressful. Well, great, <laughs> whilst I believe Larry is perhaps more photogenic <laughs> than um than Spider Man, I'm I gonna have to so. give you the win. Thank you. Um, but yeah, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Thanks for coming on and whooping our asses in drawing text. It's been loving. Having that's all right. Thank you. <laughs> Well, that's it, everybody. Our last ever episode of Fanbase. It's been such a wild ride. It has, Erica. But you know what? I think we need to take it back to where it all began. We sure do, Aaron. With a song. Two, three, four. Thank you for watching. I'm, I'm still, still a, a fan of you. Good night, Bye. Australia.